Pat and I, once again, on our way to get some food. You know the vibes. We're about to go get some sushi right now because I have like all my macros left for the day. I've only had like one bagel this morning and it is already three o'clock. I am trying to down some protein because I need to save my carbs for the rest of the day. Bro, I get so hungry at like nine, 10 o'clock. So I do not want to be ass out of carbs by that time. So I'm gonna try to hit two rolls but I can't promise myself, I can't promise y'all that I'm not gonna get three. So I'm gonna take you guys through the workout tomorrow, make this a two day episode, and um, I got something really dope to show you guys for tomorrow's workout, but we're gonna go get this sushi right now. <laughs> it's a vibe, bro. You know, it's a little club in this box, bro. So this place has like this little like, Cubby hole or something like that? Yeah. This guy thinks he's on a date right now. <laughs> I'm not excited at all. I'm like, super excited. <laughs> that first scoop of protein actually hit me really well. I feel like I'm going to be able to contain the hunger a little bit here. You know? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, combo, so it's. I forget, man. You forget? Bro, I got a combo. Just it it looks good though. Tempura. I don't know, it all looks uh, good though. <laughs> bro, that's the plate that I want to have, but we got two rolls over here. Epi Epi Dynamite, and then we got a dragon. I think I got a dragon roll. I know it's like scallops and tuna in there. I'm taking some of this avocado off because I can't account for it. It's just probably way too much fat. So probably take off like 70% of it, throw it to the side. Oh, also got four pieces of sashimi that I'm probably gonna throw on top of this. So should be good. What'd you rate it? 8.5. 8.5? That's high for me. That's pretty high, yeah. Like I barely rate anything nine. My rating is gonna be his is 8.5. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with my nine. I give it a nine. Nine, yeah. yeah, and that's high. I had sushi in Vancouver last weekend in like Yale Town, I think it was, and that was a nine also. That's pretty high rating. Been to this sushi place before, and it's never that good. So, I mean, maybe they changed something up. They got a new man in the back, bro. Bro, was, that stuff was fresh. And I only got two rolls, so I'm happy. I still got a lot of carbs left. One of my rolls came with a lot of tuna on top, so I accounted for that too. Put me in a good position for protein right now too, so that was, uh, that was a great meal. 705 Sunset Drive That'll be a good time So it is the next day, one o'clock. I am finally having my first meal of the day. I don't know if I told you guys, but I actually been fasting to one o'clock every day lately so that I push all my macros back towards the end of the day. So when one o'clock hits, man, I am super excited to finally eat whatever I make. But today I made the classic, if you know the vibes, egg whites with some mushrooms, onions, bell peppers, cheese on top. Then I hit two slices of toast with one tablespoon of jam on there. So I'll put the macros up on the screen. Fairly conservative meal, especially if you're pushing back your calories in the day. This meal is fairly low on fat. I think the whole meal comes to about eight grams of fat and I have about 50 a day right now. So I'll put up on the screen the macros that I have right now I'm getting really close to being under 2,000 calories so um, yeah it's about to be a day for the next couple weeks so yeah the information that's sliding on the screen is coming from an app called my fitness pal if you guys are following me for a while you know that I use my fitness pal for like everything I use it every day it is a must-have app if you're tracking weight trying to lose weight trying to gain weight muscle anything you need to be tracking your macros. My fitness pal is the best way to do that. So I recommend you guys using that. I'm gonna eat this meal and then I'm gonna head to the gym. Got a bunch of bros about to go in and hit a pool day right now. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna run you guys through this workout. All right, so on the screen, you guys are looking at the workout that I am running for today. But the main topic of the video, you guys know, I wanna run you guys through uh, the top fitness apps that I feel like you should have. Earlier, I talked about my fitness pal and now I'm gonna talk about an app that I just recently found called Strong Workout Tracker Gym Log. So this is 
how it looks on the app store. This is how it looks on the home screen. So pretty much what this app allows you to do is to track all of your workouts, all of your progress. I mean, everything from like RPEs to rest time to weight, just like anything and everything related to your workouts, progressive overload. This is the app that you want to have. I don't know if you guys know, but I usually do this stuff in my notepad. Now it's going to make it a lot easier to have it laid out nicely in this app. And it's just a lot of features in here that's going to make this more advanced to track it, everything in your notepad or writing it down in a notebook. I know there's a pro version where you could track macros, but like I said, today we're just going to be looking at the workout part. Come into the app, you can create a custom routine. Go in there, create a custom routine. Today we're going to put in the pool day that we are doing. Click add exercises. Just about every exercise you can think of is probably in this app. And if not, you can actually create your own exercise. So what we're going to do is going to go in, choose all the exercises we did today and add them in. Once we get all the exercises there, you can see there's a lot of things that you could do with these exercises. The app has a way for you to track your rest times, change the weight from pounds to kilograms, change the bar types, just a lot of like extra things that you could do to keep track of every single thing that you're doing. Once we get all of our exercises in there, you'll pull up this screen and you can start adding sets. So you just click the add set button and then you can actually change the sets from warm up sets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the first two sets to warm up sets and then you can go to the bottom, change that last set to a drop set or you can change it to a failure set. So this is actually pretty crazy. So into detail, obviously you can track your weights and the best thing I feel like this app has is tracking your weights with RPE. So you just click the RPE button when you put your reps in and you could tell on each set what RPE you think it was. So that when you come in the next week, you'll know where you are for the week if you need to go up in weight or you need to kind of keep it the same. So you do that for every exercise and it's actually just going to save the entire workout at the end of it. You could come back the next week, hit that pull day again. And when you come back the next week, it'll actually save the reps, RPE, all the way, all the things that you did the week before and you could kind of build on that the next week. So this is a crazy way to track progress. Honestly, I feel like this is probably the best app that I found that allows me to do this. I recommend you guys grabbing this app. Obviously, if you don't have my fitness pal, you are messing out. You need to be tracking your macros. You want to figure out how to calculate your macros and then use my fitness pal to track your macros. I have a video on that, whether you're casual or whether you're like a hardcore power lifter, bodybuilder. These are going to be must have apps to have. I'm going to end the video right here. I hope you guys got something out of this video. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you're new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next episode. Bad days, there's a lot of bad days. Yeah, 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 yeah.